barely touched it. Got those big pit vipers over there somewhere. What you talking about? Uh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Orange Med Podcast coming at you. Well, we're live now, but we won't be live when we're on. We should do a live show one day. Get our two listeners in. You can do it. All right. Figure it out. All right. Welcome to the Orange Men Podcast. This is the uh, live reaction <laughs> health segment first. We're going to talk a little bit about health. We got some oh. Peter McCullough video we want to share with everybody. And then we're going to jump right into the Tyson fight. We'll reserve comment till we get there. <laughs> it's a spectacular show they put on for us. Right. Redcon 1, 20% off. Hit the link in uh, bio. Oh, he's already doing plugs. Official Patriot gear. Link in the bio. Oh, man. I got All my... kinds of Patriot stuff. They got the big ditch the car heart. Get yourself an official Patriot gear yeah, jacket. Car heart. Yeah. Woke car heart. Are they woke too? Who? Car heart? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, listen, small shop small businesses, man. These are people in your communities just trying to make it happen. Have some small stores. American companies. That haven't sold out to the man just because nobody's buying yet, I guess. And uh, Reaper Apparel Company. Look. For, for your mindset and stuff like that. Look at that. That badass go with the American flag mask. You would think it's like a, but it's like suicide awareness and stuff like that about the, what? about their, uh, their brand. So there's oh. always that. Okay. 15% off. And cigar season coming around. So. Hit that May My Patriot cigar link for 15% off, and you can always get a sample pack for a couple of bucks. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Smoke them if you got them. See you next time. Okay. No, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. Hold on. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, McCullough's talking about resdemivir. We've been talking about that for a, a long time. Right. Uh, most of those videos got removed. Right pretty sure this one will do <laughs> that's yeah that's what when they talk about the whole because you know hillary clinton with the censorship and like we were saying you know misinformation disinformation and medical like yeah we're just this guy's a renowned doctor we're just you know maybe you didn't see it maybe you didn't hear about it but we're just passing along his information and they don't like the fact that people can just willfully post other people's stuff and go, yeah, here, listen to this guy talk. Does this make sense? Did this happen to a family member or somebody you know in the hospital? Mm -hmm. Because that's how they boosted a lot of stuff and the numbers and the, oh, this, this, like, there's a reason why. And it's what he's going to lay out for you. Okay, here we go. Conflicts and controversies cannot be overstated. In November of 2020, the World Health Organization, which did the largest study and synthesized all the other studies on remdesivir, the World Health Organization proclaimed remdesivir should not be used in the hospital because it causes death and causes kidney injury and liver injury. The World Health Organization. And astonishingly, the U.S. puts an incentive on the use of remdesivir. They put a 20% bonus on the entire hospital bill if a U.S. hospital uses remdesivir. Now, I'm a doctor. I order medications in the hospital. If I order a series of injections of a particular medicine, the hospital doesn't get a bonus on the entire hospital stay. If a hospital stay costs, let's say, $500,000, that's an extra $100,000. We're talking big money for the use of a five-day course of remdesivir that the WHO says not to use. One cannot understand how disordered the thinking is. It's funny because when we were talking about this mm -hmm. prior, which was a U, what was it? A emergency use authorization two at the time in early 2020 when they started using that. Yeah, well, they came out with this thing that. You can't use it for more than five days because it'll cause organ failure. <laughs> but it was causing organ failure up to five days. 
So they said, oh, it's good to use because it's no... Four, four or five days. Right. It's good to use for five days, but anything after that will cause organ failure. But turns out, you know, it was causing organ failure. Now, I, I, I had some personal um, conversations with uh, someone who died of organ failure in the hospital. And, you know, we... we we talked for about 30 minutes. He was considering getting the, 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 the thing, you know, the thing, the he was, thing he was trying you know, to know the thing he wanted to get the thing. And I, and I was trying to talk him out of the thing. Right. And we spent like 30 minutes talking about it. And, and when he left my office that day, he said, you know, I'm not going to get the thing. I think you, you know, you talked me out of it. So it turns out he got the thing ended up in the hospital they put him on a course of resdemivir or remdesivir, however you say it, and he died of organ failure. Um, so that's painful, and his family has no recourse. Right. And that's not the only person that that happened to. No, no, to. It's, yeah, I'm sure. And it's It's horrible. Well, think about all the old age homes, the, the, the senior centers, the rehabs, all the places that, and listen, I'm not going to say it's the doctors. Cause now he said November, 2020, mm -hmm. when did they stop using it in this country as a whole shot? You know what I mean? Like, all right, we got to shut it down. Don't use it anymore. Cause I like, we know it was for emergency use authorization early in the, in the, in the scheme here. Right. But when did they stop? I mean, that was probably when you're talking, the, the guy you're talking about, that was probably early 2021, right? I believe. I don't know. I, like, I can't, I can't recall. I don't, I don't think it was like, I mean, it definitely wasn't early 2020. No. no it, was a, it was a little bit later, obviously. Yeah, I think. Because they didn't even come out with the, the thing, the vax until, it had to be 21. because well, it was like it was blowing over because. No, but they had to come out with the thing in 21 because the vax didn't come out until after Trump was out of office more or less. So it had to be 2021. So they're talking about 2020 here. You know what I mean? Like November 2020 yeah. is when the election was right. And they said not to use it then. Yeah. So you figure if they were, you came in in 2020, the, the scheme. Do you think, do you think once Trump gets his new cabinet in there, they're going to go after these people that there, there, there's so many inflicted this horror on the American people. Well, what I was getting with like yes. Fauci and I hope so. And Fauci's, you know, he's outlived his time here. I mean, people, guy deserves being in jail. Yeah, he should have already been like just with the. It's why it's phenomenal that all the, you know, the AIDS epidemic was was pushed by like a lot of the stuff that happened to all the gays was because of Fauci. There was so much death from that because of Fauci and and yeah, what he was AIDS. You mean? Yeah, in, during, in the eighties. Yeah, yeah, with with the medicines he was telling people to take. And yet it, that was washed over by the community. And now they were in, oh, Fauci's, whatever. But going back like to the rem, like whatever the, the, it wasn't the doctors. They were just prescribing what the administrators of said hospitals <laughs> who were making that extra hundred grand yeah. were, 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 were telling them to push because, and we went into it. I think in like 22, we went into like the whole breakdown of like the medical stay plus, plus, you know, what you got for a positive test, how long, you know, this, and that's this when and we this. got, that's when we got removed. That's when we, you know, you, you had the whole layout of the whole thing that was in that, that whole bill, like every hospital was being incentivized to have cases and deaths and it was on a per capita level per state. So I mean, it, some states were making more money than than others. Like you, New York was making less, less money than Wyoming because Wyoming has less people. But well, I remember, per capita, they were making more money. Because I remember during the first week of of the of the yeah. pandemic, there was a a doctor in a New York hospital, and he was short lived. I I saw him once, <laughs> and you know he was like, you know, we're two weeks into this, and you know, where the New York was kind of the ground zero for it all. Oh, they were playing the game very heavily. Yeah, and he's like Cuomo was more than happy to go along with it. And and the doctor so was De Blasio. And the doctor's like, do not put people on ventilators. Right. Do not do it. And he was gone. 
I right. didn't hear another word. Because he was talking about they were turning him up too high, they were killing people, and uh, the guy was gone. I didn't hear a word from him again. I wish I would have got his name and all that stuff, but, yeah, I mean, they knew early on what they were doing and what, what wrongs they were doing, and they just turned up the heat on it. Yeah, anybody that came out against it that, you know, was was anybody that was on the other side of therapeutics or other situations or don't do this, don't were, do that. They were demonized and vilified. Oh, yeah. you can't listen to them. This is the only way to do it. This is the only yeah, people you should quacks. listen to is our people, our people, our people. And it's like, well, and then, you you know, like, I, I don't know. It's just, it was frustrating and it's still frustrating now because you still have people that are fall, like how quickly to fall in line because the, 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 the man on the TV or the woman on the TV who I'm supposed to respect tells me to do something like, yeah. You remember Rachel Maddow? Yeah. Get the, get the thing. Well, yeah. And I, it goes away. Yeah. Just a flat out lie. Well, all of them. Did they, did, was there any apology for that misinformation? No, that's, but that's what I mean. There's been no accountability within this administration for the last four years. I mean, you, you the Russia collusion we know was the FBI director at this point, Comey, all these people, Obama was involved in it, Clinton, everybody else, like where how do what happened? Nothing. Yeah. You had the Afghanistan withdrawal. Those not, one, gen- not one person got fired. Those generals are still in, in charge. Years. They're still running the show. Like yeah. what happened? No accountability. Like you, where's the transparency in any situation? Like, there isn't any. No, I know. And it's it's just And I'm mad about that. And I, listen, I, like we said earlier, like, listen, if Trump's doing something wrong, he's doing something we don't agree with, I mean, we're going to say it. I'm not an absolutist on everything he does, but, yeah. I mean, it's got to be better than what the last four years have been because it was better the four years before these last four years. Right. So I'm going by that, you know, that trial worked. That, tri- that trial period of the first Trump administration worked better than this. All right, we know, Don. I'm coming. Hold on. Cause I'm coming. I'm gonna come. That's what he said. Stop. And he came. That's not what he meant. All right. Let's get off of that. Let's let's talk about this Tyson fight. Oh, where are you go ahead. No. Oh. Well, first of all, I tuned in at eight o'clock thinking I was gonna see a fight. Right. The Tyson Paul fight. Right. Well, I didn't. Mm-hmm. I got I got to look at it was one of the fights was pretty good. Yeah. Um, two guys just beat the hell out of each other for, I don't know if it was 12 rounds or not. I think it was 12 rounds. Two Spanish dudes beating each other up. Beat the fuck out of each other. <laughs> and at the end of that fight, both of them were unrecognizable. Right. Um, that was a real fight. Well, it was um, a real fight. What is it? It went to decision, right? So yeah. 12 rounds, three three minute rounds. And like it ended up being a draw. Yeah. And, um, Whoever that one guy was kept his title, but yeah, is it like I, that's what I was, is it like a W like is it a real title the WBO I, like the, you know, know what I mean like is it the the MVP know. of uh, Jake Paul Society belt like I don't know but that guy's a Jake Paul's a joke I, I mean I so get yeah it. we we all we it was hyped I get it it was hyped good showmanship yeah and then to to listen to Roy Jones Jr. who who couldn't form a sentence. Right. And Rosie Perez, I don't know, the, the, what the hell is she doing there? <laughs> and what do I care what she has to say about anything? Right. It's like, who plucked her out of obscurity? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. What the hell I'm looking at? So I'm um, two hours, two and a half hours, three hours roll by, no fight. So I finally said, you know what? I'm tired. Fuck this. I'll watch the, I'll watch the, uh, the clips tomorrow. Right. So I did. I got up the next morning and I put some clips on and I watched the first round and and I watched Tyson come out like a pussy. You need to come out to like the, the Incredible Hulk theme song, The Lonely Man. Yeah, I, it was horrible. <laughs> he's got his knee brace on. He's, yeah. He's, you know, a Tyson fight. He looked like, he, he looked like poor 50-year-old Man, I felt bad for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like this guy, and that's not that's not the way I was feeling the last couple of weeks leading up to it. 
No, nah, because we were a, watching his training videos, and I'm like, this this Paul guy's going to get fucking annihilated. I was a bit energized by his by yeah. his youthfulness and the sturdiness that he which he was training with. And yes. then I see this sad, lonely guy walking out with his knee brace on, and I'm, I'm like, what? that's what like, I felt like. I'm like, what happened? Or Mike Tyson? Like, where, where's Jill to hold her, hold his hand down the aisle? <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like he needed like a, it was bad. Yeah, and then you know, and I was telling my daughter, I'm like, you know, if Jake Paul wants to have a shot, he needs to stay away from Mike Tyson because if Mike Tyson gets in close, you're done. Right. And he never got close, never got in there. And it was, it was just such, such a, sh it was so fake. You know, I, at one point at the, uh, I don't know if it was the, where, what was the way in when Mike Tyson yeah, yeah, slapped yeah. him in the face. Yeah. As soon as I saw that. Stepped on his toe. Yeah. I'm like, this is the WWE. I'm like, that, that wasn't real. That was bullshit. That was more like, like the local wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. It wasn't even WWE. It wasn't even that good. I was like local wrestling, like at your, you know, your 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 arena in town. Like so disappointing. And I, I I get a lot of people made a lot of money, but Jake Paul's not a real fighter. He hasn't fought anybody. He's he's not part of the the boxing association, is he? No, no, he's nothing. He's no, he's fought a bunch of shit bags. And you know, it's it's all it was all for clicks and money. And we got duped, and I I'm disappointed in myself that I let myself get raked in right. to being excited to watch Mike Tyson come out one more time and beat the fuck out of somebody. It was a disastrous disappointment, and I'm mad. Yeah, I'm. I I, stayed, I deserve that twenty million. <laughs> I stayed up and watched it because I was I was interested, and uh, I've never watched a Jake Paul fight before. Because I don't really care because I was like, well, you know, he's a YouTube dude. He's got a lot. You listen, he, he's he's got a lot of shit going on. So he's he's clearly very, very talented in creating and, and has. Sure. You know what I mean? He's like a, he's a marketer. Yeah. You, you can't deny that, which he don't. Yeah. He totally did here. He's, you know, he's second biggest draw. They told you that right off of the bat. Oh, second, second most people in this arena in, in, in AT&T Stadium. All right. That's Dallas Cowboys Stadium. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I watched a little bit of, like you said, the, the the fight that was on before the girls. I realized that the girls were coming on next. I was like, I'm not watching girls boxing, and I, I forget what else I was watching. I put that on or back on. And then right when, you know, Jake Paul was – right before he was getting ready to come out, they're hyping it up. He comes out in his little low rider. Maybe by, like, I'm like, oh, okay, it's <laughs> gas money garage, this, this, and this, and – you know, heavy D sparks from the Diesel Brothers, who I do like. I have some. You know, he's another guy. You know, he he. You know, they they did this, and I'm like, all right, a lot of sh spraying his stupid fucking deodorant, like pfft, riding around with his stupid brother. Listen, you guys made it. I get it, but as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, all right, this is this is like a big show. And then you know, he gets in the ring, and I thought it was weird. Like, why would you not announce Tyson first? Because he's like. The challenger, you know what I mean? Like right. usually, it's the challenger and then the guy. I got it. You wanted everybody to feel bad for poor lonely Mike walking into the <laughs> into the arena after you just come out with all these pop, you know, this circum big, big thing, and you're singing in the air tonight, and you got all the girls around, like, and lonely, you know, lonely Mike comes out with his old towel that he used to come out in. Like everybody's like, yeah, that was 1990s Mike right there, and it's yeah. like, wait. It's like a broke down old man. <laughs> That's horrible. And I get it, dude. I didn't think. Listen, like we said, like uh, the training videos. That's what put me on. I was like, all right, I gotta watch. I gotta see if he can actually come out and you know do some damage to this kid. And watching all the training videos, there wasn't any knee braces on. There it wasn't anything like that. He's moving around. He's hitting the body. He's going up top. Combos, combos, stepping, bobbing in and out. And I'm like. All right, where's this guy? It was like 30 seconds of the first round. And then after that, I'm like, what the hell happened? And then, like, I, I know you said you didn't watch, like, the biting of the glove. I didn't understand that either. Like, the guy's, like, arguing with him, like, with uh, Ray Jones Jr. Like, no, no, I don't. He, he's always bitten his glove in fights. And I'm like, I, 
all right, maybe I don't remember. Like, I, you can go back and watch, like, highlights. He doesn't bite his glove ever. Right. Bites ears, but not gloves. So I, I get it was like a joke. I don't know if that was like to tell. I also, like, I was saying something to you before, like the gloves, like whatever gloves he was using in training, maybe they were using these big, like, pillow gloves in the fight. I don't know. I was highly disappointed. And listen, there's a reason why I was on Netflix because, to be honest, nobody's paying for that shit. Nobody, not, not anymore. Like, you're going to have to put it as free on a subscription service because nobody's paying pay per view for something that was choreographed. Yeah. Scripted or whatever. Like, I get it. Like, you don't want Chison to go 12 rounds, two minutes instead of three. Okay. But even watching Jake Paul after, like, the fourth round, I mean, he's in there heavy breathing. You know, he's all exhausted. Yeah. Like, (laughs) and you're fighting a guy that's barely even, like, he wasn't even, like, fighting you back. Tyson was just more or less, like, air punching and throwing, like, I don't know. I mean, if I was fighting Jake Paul, I would have put up more of a fight. I probably would have gotten knocked out, but I (laughs) would. Yeah, but I'm going down swinging. Yeah, I would have at least, I mean, Stupid. I would have been. That was know, embarrassing. It was embarrassing for Mike, and yeah. I, I feel bad for him that if that's how bad it's gotten. that if that's how bad he needs the money, then I guess let him have it. Because at one point I was like, hopefully he just says fuck it and just beats the fuck, like just boxes and fights the guy. And as it got to like round five, I'm like, they're just going to just play this out. And then it got to round six, and I'm like, this isn't like, and I know I said, like, uh, he threw 200 punches. Uh, Paul. Jake, yeah, Jake Paul did. Like, dude, you're, do that. Like, you're not, you, you're not even being challenged. Like, you, you should be, th- you're not even throwing that many punches. 200, yeah. in eight rounds, 200 punches ain't shit. Well, also, you know, net, net, Netflix was terrible. Yeah. Because the, the, the game, it was, I guess it was, I don't know, the, the fight was, I don't know. I, oh, I kept getting the circle of death. I had to shut off Netflix and re-log yeah. in. It was like a fucking nightmare. Netflix sucks too, so I'm 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 done. Yeah, they got a couple of Christmas games. I'd like to see how that goes. Yeah, it's so gonna be a disaster unless, unless they fix their problem. But, unless it's some bonehead games. But you fuck up the NFL the way you fucked up that fight. Heads are gonna roll, bro. Yeah, Heads and I seen roll. like Jake Paul calling out McGregor and stuff. Like, just like dude, go. Go box some like legit boxers. Yeah, like go fight somebody. Go fight. Yeah, yeah. Calling out all the old guys out of retirement. Well, I don't even care. I mean, he. I don't care if he fights McGregor. I don't know that McGregor will do it, but it's still like. Well, I won't watch it. I tell you that. I don't think anybody will watch. Well, I it. would probably watch it because I would think that Connor's not playing into the game. Connor's well, yeah, Connor's but, got enough money. He don't. Yeah, but he's gonna have to play into the game if he wants to fight. That's the thing. No, I know, but that's what I was hoping. I was hoping Mike would just come out and be like, "Yeah, you know what? I'm." <laughs> Fuck Bug it. it. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do it. Like, it's going to be, I'm going to be, I'm I'm like a lot of podcasts I listened to were talking about it this week leading up to it. So I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to hear some of their, uh, some of their comments too about it because there was a, you know, a couple of guys going both ways and like, uh, you know, a couple of guys for Mike, a couple of guys for Jake. And I just, I just think it was a shitty fight. Uh, personally, like I. It was did, a joke. Yes. Correct. It was. It didn't even rise to the level of shitty. I've seen some bad UFC fights, and I stayed up all night for those. And <laughs> I wasn't. I've never been as disappointed as staying up till one o'clock to watch these two guys fight. Yeah, I, I'm glad I didn't stay up. And I, it I was disappointed. I stayed up as long as I did. No, it it it, it would have been different if there was like some fireworks in some of the rounds, but it wasn't. It was just. Jake Paul throwing enough punches to keep Mike at bay and Mike biting his glove and so who won? Well, the decision went to the guy that threw the more punches and landed. Uh, so okay, and the guy yeah. that owns the judges, right? The guy that owns the company that's putting on the event. I would imagine he's going to win. Okay, it's like it was you're, rigged. It's like you're saying about WWE. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd, I'd rather watch that. The script is in the back room. Read it and honor it. Bite your glove 20 times this round. So we have something to talk about other than the actual fight. <laughs> Stupid. Correct. Well, Dave, All listen, right. it's been great to be back. Yeah, man. It's, it's good been times. a wild Sunday. Good times. We're going to have to get back on schedule here. Yeah, I know man. I keep saying that, but I'm going to have to do it. Okay. Maybe we can do a live show. We can. One 
Friday night or Saturday night. Yeah. Come back up to the bunker here. We'll set it up. Yes, sir. Anytime. I know anytime. Anytime. <laughs> really like what you've done with the place? Yeah, thanks. I'm working on the bunker. The lighting's good. I need to... Uh, it's not good, but... Yeah, we gotta flip the flip the visors up. Too many shadows. I can't do that on my. Uh, I'll work on that. I got I got things to fix. Can't wreck my real American freedom hat. These are hard to come by. I know. So I know. All right, man. Let's go uh, cook some ribeyes. Oh, that makes me wanna tallow all over myself. All right. I get it. Thanks, everybody. All right, we'll catch everybody on the next episode. Follow, like, and share. Bye. So long, gay boys.